Among the many dramatic and powerful stories told in the Bible, Samson's is the one that arouses the most curiosity. The story of Samson catches the attention of young and old. Samson, the strongest man in history according to the Bible, stars in a story full of extraordinary feats. From his remarkable victory against a lion to his impressive destruction of the Temple of the Philistines. But what was the size of Samson's strength? Also, do you know where Samson's strength came from? In today's video, we will reveal the secrets from which came the extraordinary strength of Sanseo and the six moments when Samson demonstrates this strength. The first occasion Samson demonstrated his extraordinary strength was at Timnah. Samson saw a woman who caught his attention, and he asked his parents to get her for him, although they were against this decision, for the woman was not of the people of God, but of the enemies, the Philistines. His father and mother did not realize that this was from God. Samson insisted for them to get it because she had pleased him. In Judges chapter 14 verse 4, he explains that Samson was looking for an opportunity against the Philistines. Samson then went to Timnah, the city of his future bride. When he reached the Timnian vineyards, a new lion roared to meet him. God's spirit gave him power empty-handed. He tore the lion in two. Samson was alone when this remarkable manifestation of strength occurred, no one saw that done. The second occasion occurred later, when he was returning to take the woman home. He turned aside to see the dead lion, and in the carcass of the lion was a swarm of bees and honey. Samson took the honey with his hands and ate it while walking. When he reached his father and mother, he gave them some to eat, but did not reveal that he had taken the honey from the carcass of the lion. Remembering this, Samson presented the following riddle to the thirty godparents at their wedding. From the eater came food, and from the fort came the sweet. If they guessed the meaning of the riddle, Samson would give them thirty changes of clothes, and if they didn't guess, they would have to give him the same for three days. On the fourth day they told Samson's wife to deceive her husband, otherwise they would burn her and those of her father's house. The woman, frightened, began to pressure Samson to reveal the answer. Finally, he revealed why she had pressed. Then she told the people, and when the people told Samson the meaning of the riddle, he realized that his bride had deceived. Then came the opportunity that Samson was waiting for. The Spirit of God became active in him, so that he came down to Ascalon, struck thirty of their men, took their clothes and gave the saplings to those who declared the riddle. The third occasion occurred when Samson returned to Timnah. Samson discovered that his wife's father had married another man, believing that Samson hated her. Samson said, This time the Philistines cannot blame me for harming them. Then Samson captured three hundred foxes, then took torches, tied the foxes in two by the tail and placed a torch in the middle of each pair of tails. Then he set the torches on fire and released the foxes into the grain fields of the Philistines. He burned everything, as many bundles as not yet harvested grain, and also the vineyards and olive groves, burning the three main crops of the Philistine. The Philistines cruelly burned Samson's wife and her father, blaming them for what happened, as shown in Judges chapter 15 verse 8. Then they struck one after the other with a great slaughter. After that, Samson went down and stayed in a cave on Eteo Rock. The fourth time Samson demonstrated extraordinary strength was when he was hiding in the cave of Eden. 
Three thousand men of Judah went down to the cave of Ethan and said to Samson, Don't you know that the Philistines are ruling over us? So why did you do this to us? He told them, I did to them the same as they did to me. But they said to him, We have come to capture you to deliver you to the Philistines. So they bound you with two new ropes and made you come out of the rock. When he came to the law, the Philistines shouted triumphantly upon seeing him. Then the Spirit of Jehovah gave him power, and the cords in his arms became like threads of linen burned by fire and fell from his hands. He then found a jawbone still fresh, reached out and took it, and with it killed a thousand men. The fifth time Samson showed his great strength was in Gaza. At home he saw a prostitute and entered her house. Samson was determined to follow his goal, to fight the Philistines, enemies of God. That's why you stayed overnight at a prostitute's house. At home, Samson had no immoral intentions, but needed accommodation in the enemy city. The Gazettes were told, Samson is here. Then they surrounded him and ambushed him all night at the gate of the city, thinking, when dawn comes, we will kill him. Held the gates of the city together with the two jams and tore them off with the lock. He put them on his shoulders and carried them up to the summit of the mount, which was in front of Hebron, sixty kilometers away. Samson did this with divine approval and God-given strength. The sixth and last time Samson demonstrates his strength was when he was deceived. But how did it happen that Samson fell in love with a woman named Delilah? The rulers of the Philistines addressed her and said, Deceive Samson and find out what gives him such strength and how we can dominate him. If you do, each of us will give you a thousand and one hundred pieces of silver. Three times Samson gave false information to Delilah, and three times she betrayed him, trying to deliver him to his enemies. But, harassing him all the time with his words and being with him, his soul grew impatient. Samson finally revealed the truth, his hair was never cut, and if that happened, he would become weak and become like other men. The result was the defeat of Samson. In fact, Samson's power was not literally in his hair. His hair simply represented the special relationship he had with God. When Samson allowed a situation to compromise his special condition with God, having his head shaved, the Almighty God withdrew from him. The Philistines then overpowered Samson, took him to the temple of Dagon to show the strength of their God. But Samson knew the real reason for his defeat. He knew why God abandoned him. And Samson repented of his mistake. While in prison, his hair grew back. Deeply, what action would he take before thousands of Philistines? Sovereign Lord, pray Samson, Please remember me and strengthen me only this time, please, O oh true God, and avenge me from the Philistines. He then leaned on the two central pillars of the temple and shortened himself with power. With what result? The house fell upon the lords of the Axis and upon all the people who were in it, so that the dead whom he gave up to death, including himself, came to be more than those he gave up to death during his lifetime. There was no one among men with the same physical strength as Samson. His powerful acts were truly remarkable. More importantly, however, the Word of God mentions Samson as being among those who had strength and faith. The saga of Samson is more than an ancient story, it is a source of inspiration and reflection for all of us.
I hope you enjoyed this exploration and that Samson's lessons resonate in your personal journey. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating content. See you next.